one of the last public appearances of a man who was soon to disappear forever. Chinese Communist Party Secretary Zhao Ziyang speaking to students on Tiananmen Square in May 1989. A reformer hit urged restraint in dealing with the students. The crackdown that followed illustrated it was a battle he had lost. Others, like Wen Jiabao, went on to resurrect their political careers, but Zhao Ziyang was removed from the party leadership and placed in seclusion. This was the place where Zhao Ziyang lived out the last years of his life, and it was in the garden of this house that he wrote he heard the gunfire from Tiananmen Square in 1989, a sound that ultimately marked his imprisonment here until his death in 2005. During those 16 years of isolation, he secretly recorded his memoirs, disguised on tapes of revolutionary songs and smuggled out by faithful friends. They make up the only first-hand account from the top of the Communist Party of what led to the Tiananmen Massacre. It's a story the party has tried hard to suppress. In a quiet Beijing suburb, Zhao Ziyang's secretary, Bao Tong, has been under effective house arrest for 20 years. Recently, journalists have been granted access, but his movements are still restrained. Despite the limits on his freedom, Bao Tong knew of the secret memoir. His son edited the original tapes when they reached Hong Kong. Compiling a book he thinks offers a unique insight. For most people, what he said about June the 4th will be of interest. For academics, the main point of interest is his economic reforms. But for me, it's what he says about China's future. One place where the memoir won't be available is China itself. Censorship remains firmly in place, although pirated copies of the Chinese text are already circulating on the Internet. Nonetheless, one modern-day dissident thinks the ghosts of the past still have the power to unnerve today's Chinese leaders. If Zhao Ziyang's ideals were actually achieved in today's China, the current leaders would be afraid of losing their powers and vested interests, and lose the chance to assess corruption and monopolies. As the 20th anniversary of the Tiananmen massacre approaches, Zhao Ziyang's role comes under examination once again. And while this is the memoir of a man who'd already fallen from power, it illustrates how different modern China might have been. Tony Cheng, Al Jazeera, Beijing.